So I think it would be great if you could share what's made in Saudi today uh, unique to be a leader in that space. All right. Uh, thank you, Boden, for having me, first of all. Uh, beautiful question. Before I answer that in detail, I would like to highlight three points about Saudi Arabia in general. Um, as everyone knows, Saudi Arabia is the heart of the Islamic nation for having the Holy Mosque in our land. Uh, the second point is the investment tools that we have in the kingdom that work as a beacon of economical growth. And finally, our strategic uh, geographical location, which I'll touch base on that in a minute. So long before the vision, I mean, as many of you knows, I mean, just uh, for the religious tourism and the religious visitation, whether it is from the local population in the kingdom or international, uh, we have millions of people doing Hajj and Umrah on an annual basis. One of the vision targets, actually, is to increase that number to 30 or 40 million per year for religious tourism. When we take these tens of millions who are coming to the kingdom on an annual basis, whether it is, you know, to, to do their religious visitation, you unlock, just by that, so many different opportunities that can support the ecosystem when it comes to hospitality, um, F&B, um, um, services, childcare, and what have you. Studies have, have shown that many of the visitors, they will spend a few days doing their religious uh, visitation, and after that, they will spend an additional amount of days either exploring the area in the kingdom or uh, the region around it. So that shows you the amount of demand that we have just by the religious tourism itself. When we talk about the economical growth and the Saudi economy today, one of the targets of the vision in 2030 is to place Saudi Arabia as one of the top 15 largest economy worldwide. Um, to do that, there is a lot of initiative, there is a lot of work taking place um, today to, to um, transform the economy from what used to be a state-led economy to a private sector-led economy. Uh, from an economy that has been oil-driven to an economy that is now driven by productivity. Um, maybe let's not talk about uh, 2030, let's talk about today. Today, Saudi uh, stands as one of the 19 largest economies globally. Uh, Saudi is the largest economy in the Middle East and North Africa. But let's not compare ourselves to the Middle East and North Africa, and let's take a look at our positioning with our peers in the G20. Um, you'll notice that Saudi has a very strong and robust G20 economy. We are in the top when it comes to the GDP growth, I think first or second. Uh, we are fifth uh, globally when it comes to international foreign reserve. And we are second lowest when it comes to debt to GDP ratio. So that shows you the strong economy that we have today and the ambitions on where we're going to achieve the uh, top uh, 15th economy by 2030. And finally, the last point I mentioned in the beginning is our geographical location. I mean, Saudi is a few hours away from three continents. Uh, we are four hours away from 50 of the fastest growing markets. We're six hours away from 40% of the largest economies worldwide. And seven hours away from 80% of the globe population. Um, all of this is uh, supported by a very strong network, logistical network. We have 28 airports in the kingdom, 14 of which are international, connecting Saudi to so many different cities. And this is the existing airports today. I mean, there is a lot of uh, airports under development and the new destination we're coming up across the kingdom. When it comes to seaports, we have 10 seaports processing more than 13 million containers every year. That makes us the largest maritime network in the Middle East. And finally, by 2030, we're expected to have 40 uh, special economical zones. Uh, we're expected to actually attract so many different uh, industries and businesses to these special economic zones because uh, these zones will be offering uh, a very discounted and uh, competitive rates that you wouldn't find anywhere else in, in the world. Amazing. And uh, I love